Arrays can also be created using a for loop and its auto-indexing feature. As an example, let's create an array of random numbers. Create a for loop on your block diagram. Now let's place a random number generator and wire it to the edge of the for loop. Create an indicator on the terminal outside the for loop. Notice how the wire has become thicker as it leaves the for loop and there appears to be a box with two brackets on the edge of the for loop. If we hover over the box, it tells us that this is an auto index tunnel. What this means is that the for loop will automatically create an array of values. If we wire a constant to the count terminal and run the program, our indicator will contain an array with random numbers, one for every iteration of our for loop. Before we run our code, let's expand to our array indicator so we can see all of the values. Now let's run our code. A two-dimensional array can also be created using for loops. To do this, drag another for loop around our random number generator. The inside for loop will create an array, and the outside for loop will now create an array of arrays, giving us a two-dimensional array. This is why we have a broken wire to our indicator. Let's add a dimension to our indicator, and expand it horizontally to show the two dimensions. Add a constant to our inside count terminal, and run our code. In this lesson, we learned how to create and examine arrays using auto-indexing.